edition of the Honey Do List channel. Today we're going to be uh, discussing some things that I, when I purchased them, got for free from Wish.com. Um, I went back and tried to take pictures to show that they were free after I received them. And of course, a lot of these items now are cost money. Um, so let's just jump right into it and I'll talk about some of the things that I got, the pros and cons. Um, one of the items that I did get was these little, you know, adapters to put on your impact drill for sockets. I actually use this one. Um, the problem was you can't get all three of them. You have to actually order each individual one. Um, and then the guy shipped them. He charged me three shipping prices of $2 a piece and put them in one envelope and charged me $6 to ship something that the shipping label said that he charged me about $1.50 to ship. So you kind of have to be careful on that stuff. Um, this one, like I said, I did use this to half inch drive one. You see some scratches on it. Um, it held up, you know, fairly well. I wouldn't use it to like, you know, impact my tires off or anything, but you know, that stubborn bolt, um, it worked out really good. Okay, um, let's move on real quickly because I want to try to make it a short video. Uh, one of the things that they get was these tire pressure sensors that let you know when your tire is 36 pounds, they come in 34 pounds, 32 pounds, um, 36 is the highest pound pressure. Okay, you can see it been on the car for a while. The problem I have with these, by the time that it sticks off your valve stem, it actually broke my valve stem on my tire. Um, got them for free. Um, you know, thought they'd be kind of good, you know, to keep the, you know, the look, you know, all you have to do is look because it actually turns, see how there's a red line there? When it's at 36, it actually turns green at the top, 36 PSI. Um, it ended up breaking my valve stems. I thought it'd be a good idea for the winter, you know, because your tire pressures, you know, fluctuate during the winter. So I figured that it might be good where you can just glance out and look end up being a bad purchase um wouldn't recommend them all right let's move right on along um one of the other items that i did get was this 90 degree angle drill bit okay um what i don't like about it is you had to you actually have to have the adapter to you know connect it to a drill i guess they do that so you can either attach it this way or this way but they don't send it to you so you end up having to purchase that separately it cost me two dollars to ship it um used it it's good for like doing curtain rods you know um venetian blinds the holders on them are you know see and you can actually go in this way and you know get into them it actually worked pretty good two bucks not a bad little deal um i looked <laughs> I was thinking, you know, get some clamps for the shop for small wood projects and stuff. And they advertise this one. <laughs> when I got it, it's a little smaller than what they advertise. I don't know if you can see about how big that is. It's, it's quite small. Um, it does work really great though. Um, you know, everything releases fine. It slides good. Um, when I... One thing I did notice, these are hard plastic and they're etched with like a, you know, grip in them. Um, softer woods, it would damage and leave that checkerboard pattern on there. But I mean, it's just a cool little item. I think I paid $3 shipping on this one, which wasn't nothing. You have to excuse the squeaking in the background. That's Kevin, the guinea pig. Um, I might put a picture up here. Okay. Um, neat little item that i bought years ago in a survival kit was a what they call a credit card knife and um somebody liked it and i ended up giving them up to it or ended up throwing away at an airport i can't remember exactly what happened to it but um i seen it on wish.com and here it is and what it is, it's as thin as a credit card, and you fold the blade out, and you fold both sides over, and you have a little knife. Okay, this is a great item. 
the have until you go into an airport. You can you know, you can't carry this in an airport or in a courthouse or a government building because it is considered a weapon. Um, so be careful where you carry it. It's kind of neat. I actually keep it in my car up underneath where I keep my spare tire. You know, you get a piece of rope tangled up or something off the highway, you know, just to cut something loose or whatever. Neat little item. Um, a dollar shipping. A dollar, it was free and a dollar shipping. Can't beat that. Okay. Um, one of the other things I did get was this. You're seeing a lot of this on TV now. It's this item right here. And it's for setting up like you know angles for cutting something you know if you have that weird angle you set it up on there and it helps you you know guide the angle cut really neat i got this for free uh two dollar shipping um came in pretty much like this uh the screws are plastic with a plastic cap uh so i mean you can't really tighten it down it's not designed to tighten down a lot um it is marked in inches and centimeters um neat little thing i mean i might use it once or twice um uh, cool little item to get for you know free um just paying shipping um i did buy this and ended up receiving this little handheld sewing machine. I thought maybe they just used a box, but no. Handheld little sewing machine. I don't know what I'll have a use for it, but you know, you get the good with the bad. So uh, both of them were free. I actually looked these up and they're $3.99. So I kind of came out ahead. I paid um, for that item, I paid $2 shipping. This one was $3.99 with a $3 shipping. So $6.99 for this little item. So sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. Um, I did get this item. And they come in a little bag like this. And they're hardened, you know, drill bits and burr bits. And, you know, this is supposed to be a diamond bit. And um, they look exactly identical to the ones that came in my Dremel kit. There's no difference in them. If you lay them side by side, you can't, you know, tell them apart. They're good for like soft metal, like aluminum, uh, carbon steel, stainless alloy. They'll just tear up quickly. But they did send me a little calculator, magnifying glass, angle finder, ruler um, for free, and it did work. I don't know if you can see that. I have taken, you know, um, I've taken it out of the pack and played with it a little bit. Um, so, you know, a dollar for these. Uh, now, I think it was $2 shipping for this, and I ended up getting this. So, like I said, you take the good with the bad. Okay. So, moving right along. Um, I've been looking at these, you know, the new style wire, wire strippers that, you know, does everything automatically and they um, put it on there like, you know, you clip it down it does everything and it, you know, sets the depth of the wire and all that. So, I bought one. Here it is. Some of the things you have to take this out and turn it um, to set the thickness of the wire you can see there's four different sizes right there and it pushes in from the back you push this little you know knot out and then you have to grab it it's kind of hard to get to um there's two little screws on the bottom and a little allen wrench what you do is you turn these screws and it sets the blade depth you know up higher or down lower and have a little spring tensioner in there i know you can probably see right there and then you see the blade right there and this one has this blade has a notch in it and that's for like smaller wire like phone wire or whatever <clears throat> I, I used it to strip some phone wire that was just you know laying around it seemed to work really really well um the only problem i had was you're supposed to put your finger in there like this and you know clamp down and you know i just end up holding it like this and pulling off um it is made of plastic but the hinge is in a you know made with a a pretty good you know hinge material so um i 
it, of course, another, you know, $3 shipping. I could have went to Harbor Freight and bought a better one. Same thing with, you know, these. Um, one thing I didn't get to use was they advertised this, you know, 25 high speed, you know, drill, mini drill bit set. And that's what it comes to look like. The exact same packaging that Harbor Freight has. That <laughs> Harbor Freight has the exact same thing. Um, the only difference is I didn't see an item number like the Harbor Freight one did. But I wanted to show this. It had multiple, multiple packing stickers on there. I guess, you know, they tried to sell it somewhere that didn't work so then they put another one on there and then another one trying to get it to sell um i don't have a, any need for super small drill bits like this so i got it just to kind of show you you know if you need 25 little one-time use drill bits it was a dollar shipping so i have a dollar invested in them um I hope y'all like this video. Like I said, I'm just trying to show you that, you know, you can get some of your, you know, smaller one-off tools that you're going to use once or twice for free off a of wish or, you know, a buck or two. But be kind of cautious. Know what you're getting. This ended up costing me about $12 to fix the valve stem. I guess it got held, hung up in the car wash or whatever, but or over time it just broke it. Um, so until next time, let's work on that honeydew list together. And have a great day.